Hello everyone. I hope you guys are fine. Thank you so much for your kind feedback. I hope you guys are learning how to do business on Amazon. Today we are going to start an other series of private label. We have already launched many series for your learning about the PL, about the wholesale, about the drop shipping, about the affiliate marketing. But today uh, a new series is going to start which is specifically to a very uh, good market of the future yes i am talking about uae means amazon.ae yes when we talk about the private label the main issue with the uh, people who want to start their brand is that the budget but when you talk about the budget you don't need to go to the us or uk to launch your brand because you need a big pocket for that so if you have small pocket means you have a small budget and you you are willing to launch your brand there is a big opportunity for you so how to do business on amazon.ae we will learn it step by step so today is our lecture one welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet you can subscribe it's free of cost so first thing to start your private label on amazon.ae you need an seller account how to get amazon seller account it's very easy but at the same time a little tricky you need few documents to register as a seller on amazon.ae which is very important you need a email id which everyone i hope have your telephone number mobile number your id proof your bank account so these are the main things which you need to sign up your amazon.ae account now when i talk about the email id it's obvious everyone have mobile number everyone have so the next two things are a little tricky when i say about the id proof it depends in which country you are sitting and going to sign up your account in amazon.ae if you are in pakistan india or bangladesh or like that country you can simply use your passport To sign up uh, for uh, ID proof okay you can use passport for your ID proof but if you are living in UAE doing some job or you have some visa etc you can use your Emirates ID everyone who is working there has the Emirates ID you can use that as your identity proof Another thing which lies in your, which comes under your ID is your address. And make sure your address should be unique. Means there is no already existing Amazon seller account on this address, on this email ID, on this mobile number. So everything should be unique. When we talk about the bank account, you need two things. Number one, your bank statement and your credit card. It can be credit or debit card. Why we need these two things? Because we have to give deposit method to amazon why because when we'll do some sale on amazon amazon will deposit the money in this bank account so that's why we have to give the bank details for our deposit and bank statement to verify your address to verify your identity your name okay so make sure 
whenever you're going to sign up your seller account on Amazon, the details on all the documents should be same. Means the name on your passport should be on your bank account, bank account statement, etc. So, if for example, here is uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, the same name should be on your bank account statement. If you have your address like XYZ, the same XYZ address should be on your bank statement. So this bank statement and bank account is used for the payment getting method from Amazon. Amazon will give money in this account when you sell products on Amazon. The second thing is from where Amazon will charge from you. Now you will think why Amazon will charge from me. Definitely Amazon will charge from you. If you will spend money on advertising, if you will spend money on coupons, promotions, a lot of things which we will discuss in upcoming lectures. So just remind this that you need a deposit method and you need a charge method. Okay, so deposit method and charge method. For deposit method, you need bank account. For charge method, you need active credit or debit card it can be master or visa okay so two things you require in terms of your bank account the other thing is your id proof id proof require your passport and uh, the second for identity proof is your bank statement in some cases and in some countries amazon can ask uh, further documents for the verification for example uh, like if you are uh, living in saudi arabia and for address verification, you have to give an extra document, which most of the case, uh, KSA residents have that is called residential proof. So in simple words, you have to prove Amazon that you are a legal person and you are doing a legal activity on a legal IP address. So this is the method. Very simple. You just go to Amazon.ae seller central. Uh, if you don't know what's the link, so I can just write seller central.amazon.ae even if you write on the google you will get the link how to sell on amazon so the first thing is you have to get an account for your amazon private label i hope everything will be clear mobile number should be unique there should not be a uh, existing amazon account because if there is an account your account will not be sign up now let's discuss another very important point which most of the students face that at the time of sign up Amazon will ask the ID proof in terms of JPG format, PDF formats or many others. So what most of the people do is they simply take the card and take the mobile picture and upload and in most of the cases the text the picture is not clear in your ID proof which can be your passport, Emirates ID or if you are signing up from Saudi Arabia. So your resident card will be your identity proof. So it should be clear, visible, readable, unedited. There should be nothing to edit. Okay. Same case of uh, bank account statement. Yes, you can download from internet and you can upload on the uh, at the time of account sign up when Amazon will ask. Another question which most of the students ask, sir, what should be the closing balance of the bank statement? Amazon doesn't care how much balance you have in your what Amazon care is to verify your address verify your name which is very very important so these two things will be verified from the uh, Amazon through bank statement so in simple words I will just conclude my video and you have uh, you have to note the things uh, initially Amazon will verify your phone number through OTP. Amazon will send you the message on this mobile number. You have to type the OTP and your number will be verified. Second, when you will give the email address, Amazon will send the uh, OTP to email. You will receive in your inbox. You simply type that OTP in the OTP box. Now your email will be verified. Now these two things are verified. When you talk about the ID proof, then Amazon, you have to give the two documents to Amazon. Number one, uh, if you are uploading like uh, Emirates ID or your resident card of the Saudi Arabia, 
or your passport uh, in case of cards you have to give the front and back side in case of passport you have to just open your passport scan it and send the scanned copy okay so it will be front two pages uh, second thing as uh, as far as bank statement is concerned you can upload the pdf downloaded by the bank so these two documents you have to upload to verify your identity so now your phone number is verified your email is verified your identity is verified and you are ready to sell on amazon but not at the same time amazon will take almost two days to verify these details is everything is okay amazon will say you okay just log in and start your further process which we will discuss in our next video i hope you get everything clear if any question you can ask the question in the comment section i will see you in the next video and one good news if you are living in ua there is an opportunity that we are launching our second batch for amazon private label ua which is starting from 20th of october if you want to register you are most welcome here is the number just call or whatsapp and ask the details team will give you the complete information see you in the next video take care bye bye